Hey there. Uh, today, I am doing something that I haven't even uh, tried yet. <laughs> um, I'm going to be using the Trace Clay Spray exclusively. No other alcohol ink or anything like that. And I just thought I would... Um, I got this... It is whiteboard tape. So you put it up to make the lines on whiteboard so that you that you write straight or actually I think even they do it for like music if if people are you know writing putting the bars up for music um, but I thought I would put this on the clay first and then put the uh, spray on top of it but I'm gonna apply the spray with a brush and I have no idea where the beginning of this is so I'm just gonna make a beginning it looks like there's a beginning there let's see and I'm going to be kind of plain with the first one here. And I don't even know if this is going to stick. I don't know anything. I don't know anything about this stuff. Um, but I'm just going to apply it in like this. I'm going to go, I'm going to do it like a crisscross pattern. And this is one of those things that I had a dream about so <laughs> I ordered this I went on Amazon and I was like looking up thin tape and everything else and this came up so seems to be sticking okay we'll see how it works uh okay I got something going on here okay so I'm just gonna stick this on It came in, if this works and you like it, I will link um, where I got it, but it came in a pack of like six of these little thin things. It just felt like this was the right size that I wanted. Um, so that's why I got this size. Or that's why I got this particular one. The only other one they had were like that I found the thin strips was stuff for nails, but those were crazy thin and I wanted a little bit thicker, so I went with this one. So I'm just gonna do cross. You could do any kind of shapes you want, but this is my first time even trying this, so I'm gonna do this. Feel free to fast forward through this part. <laughs> That's what I would do. Somebody's pressure washing right outside, I think next door, so if you can hear that, I apologize. Okay, one more. I hope this looks cool. <laughs> I feel like it's going to. My dreams are crazy. Um, cause I literally do dream this stuff up and then I wake up and I have to do it right away. So, all right. So that's on there. So this is going to kind of work like a, a stencil for the most part. Um, I put my sprays, I have all my sprays over here. Um, but I put them in order of how I want to use them on here. Two, four, six, eight, nine, I'm missing one. Here it is. Um... Well, I had them in order. I'm not going to use the black. I'll just go... Well, I, there's a pattern also that I kind of dreamed about. So this is what we're going to do. So shake up your trays, clay, spray. or if you, Regular alcohol inks will totally work with this. I just wanted to demonstrate how mine work. Because um, people will be getting theirs in the mail soon. So you can just see. So just dip in your brush, your tiny brush. My favorite brush that I always use. And will probably fall apart one day um, it's not gonna look like much at first but the color definitely deepens so that is the red or the the fuchsia this is copper and do wipe your brush off in between each time Uh, 
I'm going to do a pattern. Because this was in my dream. That's copper. This is blue. Um, the first batch of sprays is actually going out today. I'm sorry it took so long. Um, I do mix these myself in my garage. Um, for now, anyway. <laughs> uh, so these will be going, the first batch is going out today. And I just, I'm very excited at how much it blew up. Uh, I just didn't expect it. So that's why it has taken so long. I've just been mixing bottles and bottles and bottles and bottles and bottles, but it's ready to go now. So it's going out today, which is very exciting. So I'm just going to keep going around. In this design. Uh... I think you can see how I'm doing this now. I think this is going to look cool, and I don't even know. We're going to find out together. I've got a little friend. I don't want to kill him. Well... I think he might get baked in. <laughs> he just disappeared under the clay. He was a tiny, tiny little thing. And I don't see him anymore, so I think he's... Ugh. He's in there. So I'm just going through all the colors that I make. And like I said, if you if it seems like you can't really see them right now, um, they do they brighten up. And even after baking, which is so bizarre because most colors fade after they're baked, and these actually get brighter. So it's kind of cool. Kind of cool. I'm kind of proud of myself for making this. Like I said, I did not think that it was going to blow up like it has. I'm very grateful. So I'm just going to keep going around. Um, so you can fast forward through all this. I, don't, I really don't feel like pausing. Um, I guess I could. But some people might want to watch. <laughs> so I think I'll just let it keep going. So now I'm going to start back at the beginning with the fuchsia. Whoa, I did not put that back on though. See, if I would have paused it, you would have missed all that. Dinner and a show. Of course, it's got to be the fuchsia. It looks like blood everywhere. <clears throat> Excuse me. Doesn't have to be perfect, and it always looks really cool if it bleeds into the ones around it. <clears throat> At least I think so, anyway. So I'll kind of let it do its thing. Unless you want it to stay that way, then then wait for, you know, each each color to dry before doing the next. Oh, there's my friend. He's got away. Okay.
So you like that. I like when that happens. <clears throat> I'm gonna do just a swipe of green or gold here. And then I think I'm going to do I'm gonna skip and do the purple. Oh, just that last little stripe but this gives you an idea of how my spray works if you just use a, a brush right on the thing that still looks great metallic um, and it's very hard to find like the metallic purple and the metallic blue and the metallic green you can almost always find the bronze and the silver and the gold um, but the rest of them are, they're hard to find. I have found some, and uh, but I decided to make some. So we're going to let this dry for a minute. I am going to pause now because I don't think you want to watch paint dry. Um, so I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, I'm back. That literally only took 30 seconds to dry, so um, it was quick. Um, I'm going to go ahead and lift these off. And hopefully they just cleanly come right off. Looks like they do. I want to be careful um, because I want it to look good. So that's why I'm doing one at a time. I could probably just lift up all the sides and then um, trying to rip it off in one fell swoop, but I'm not going to because I want it to look nice like this. Like I said, you can make any pattern you want um, with these, but I was just kind of going for for easy since I've never done it before. But there you go. I think it looks cool. Let me show you. Give you a closer look. If you can see. Somehow I managed to make it almost even look like they're exactly the same size. So let me cut some shapes out. Of course, my handy dandy favorite. Um. But I think this tape is pretty much the perfect size for what I wanted. Um, I think next time, instead of doing that pattern that I just did, I'm going to just kind of randomly splash. Maybe I'll just even spray it on. Um, but I did want to show that you can you can use a brush and and paint it on and it'll get a nice effect um, but I might just do something a little more random next time uh, but these look cool so let's see me and my dirty tools so this is how these look you can see those so I'm going to go ahead and bake them and finish them up how I do, and then I will be back to show you. Okay guys, I'm back. So this is how they look um, after they've been uh, cleaned up, sanded, and uh, resined. As you can see, little windows. I think that I would definitely do it differently next time. Um, just kind of 
put the tape on a little differently and then um, um, be more sporadic with how I put the, the spray on. Um, but I'll go ahead and link the tape. Um, it just, it's a good little alternative to stencils. Sometimes stencils can be expensive, so give it a try. Uh, let me see what you come up with. Um, you can get the Trace Clay Spray at TraceClay.com. And today is March 18th, 2022, and it is $10 Friday on my website. So all jewelry is $10, so go check it out. Hope you guys have a great weekend. See you next week. Bye.